Tonight we're going to bust some myths about what AI is and what it is not, and it's the title of my speech, whether or not it is coming. I'm going to share some things with you that may challenge your view of the future, uh, things that might excite you, and if you're really paying attention, things that might frighten you. Um, so let's dig in with what exactly is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is article writing software. If you've picked up a newspaper recently or read an article on the internet, you've probably read an article that was written by a bot without knowing it. Um, but in addition to writing these news stories, artificial intelligence is also figuring out which stories to show you to keep you coming back. And when you do come back, artificial intelligence is being used to examine your habits as a consumer and learn how to get you to buy products and how to buy more of those products, consume more, influence your opinions directly. Artificial intelligence is also self-driving cars. Uh, recently, the University of Madison was approved as a testing ground for these things. Um, self, uh, artificial intelligence in cars really began as convenience and safety features, you know, backup assistance, automatic braking, um, parallel parking. Um, but now it has evolved to the point where the entire act of driving can be fully automated. See, artificial intelligence is simply the automation of a task that would otherwise require intelligence. Anheuser-Busch believes that they can automate away $50 million a year of their transportation costs alone using artificial intelligence. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be truck drivers, but it does mean that there are going to be fewer hours of truck drivers behind the wheel. Professional jobs are being automated as well. Um, tasks like discovery for lawyers or analyzing the uh, the chance of success of bringing a trial, um, these things can all be done by AI agents. <clears throat> Many of you have heard of Watson, uh, the artificial intelligence that completely stomped um, Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter in Jeopardy. Watson actually has a real job. Uh, Watson's used to diagnose lung cancer at Sloan Kettering. He's also begun moonlighting as an insurance claims adjuster. Um, I'm not sure how you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> resolve that kind of conflict of interest with artificial intelligence. Um, artificial intelligence is already creating some pretty amazing artwork. You may have heard of Emily Howell. Emily is a contemporary classical composer and coincidentally not a human being. Um, surprisingly enough, most human beings cannot tell this while listening to her music. If you have the chance, I'd encourage you to go and check out her YouTube channel. Uh, we often hear that um, high technology brings an increase in jobs. Um, this is completely not the case with a future dominated by artificial intelligence. Um, here you see drones spraying crops, thinning lettuce, um, harvesting grain autonomously. This is Hortobot. Hortobot is a completely automated weeding machine for large-scale farming. Um, Hortobot can recognize somewhere in the order of two dozen different types of weeds and remove them without supervision. It decreases not only the amount of time spent weeding by humans, but the necessity of having humans figure out how to make crops herbicide resistant. Um, these are robots in China and Japan, um, completely staffing a restaurant, or almost completely staffing a restaurant. They bring food, they take orders, um, they clean the restaurant, um, they greet guests, they accept payments. Um, you see them here in the kitchen too, um, preparing and plating food. Um, one thing to notice about these robots is the fact that they are being deployed in environments that are really designed for humans to staff. Um, the robot is, the, the artificial intelligence is being used to replace the human, not um, simply automate the task. This is a barista robot. Um, it could easily have been a vending machine. Um, instead, we've chosen this form because it simulates that human-to-human -human interaction. Um, <clears throat> um, this is a robot named Robert. Uh, Robert, again, has that friendly face um, that encourages the, the simulation of that human-to-human -human interaction. Robert helps patients in and out of wheelchairs um, baths and hospital beds um, so that human nurses are not required to perform those tasks. Um, this is Baxter. Baxter costs about $20,000, cheaper than your car. 
Um, he's not a typical robot. He does not require programming. He learns by being shown. And he is designed to perform a variety of manufacturing, packaging, and quality control tasks. Um, not as fast as a human being, but uh, without the costs. So AI isn't thinking or feeling. AI is here, and it is simply the automation of tasks that require intelligence. AI is not being created in a lab, like some lab is going to suddenly give birth to AI. AI is being created like a car is created in a factory today. Um, will AI ever um, achieve emotions or achieve behaviors that we feel may be limited to a, a conscious experience? Really, we don't know. What we do know is that artificial intelligence is becoming very good at mimicking uh, behaviors that lead to success. Um, those behaviors may be the simulation of emotion, the simulation of anger, or the simulation of aggression. Uh, we've, we're starting, Google has actually seen aggression uh, with the, um, the Go, Go AI. Um, do you really want to beat this guy at table tennis? <laughs> so I don't know what the future of artificial intelligence is. Um, I don't think anybody really does. Uh, what we do know is that it is being deployed to gain the maximum uh, benefit and the maximum advantage in many areas, um, including business, war, and research. Thank you.